Yeah, so good afternoon all. Uh, I am Rishikesh Kulkarni from Vishwakarma Institute of Information Technology Pune and our research topic is uh, fake product detection using the blockchain. Next slide. So here here are the team members Rishikesh Kulkarni, Ram Munde, Subjit Bobude and Siddhesh Shalonke. Our guide is uh, Mr. Kisho Patak sir. Next slide. So uh, let's first understand what's the problem with the fake product. Uh, uh, what is a fake product? Fake products mean when someone tries to mimic the original product and sell that product in the market uh, without the originality to gain the profit. That's the sell. That's the fake product. Uh, so uh, the blockchain can combat the uh, blockchain can uh, solve this problem uh, with its own feature, uh, so that we can detect whether the product is fake or the not fake or not. Uh, for this, uh, every uh, product is added to the blockchain and the end customer can verify the uh, product with the QR code or the barcode of the product. Uh, the benefits blockchain provides is the trust, security, faster identification, faster identification and the uh, tracking of the product. These are the inherent feature of the blockchain like trust, security, that we are leverage, we can leverage to solve this problem. Next slide. Uh, so, uh, this dif according to, according to different uh, literature surveys, we have found uh, how we can use the uh, blockchain for solving this problem. Uh, the benefits includes the transparency of the system, traceability of the product, and security of the system. The challenges and limitations uh, we have found that the adaptability cost of the blockchain is currently high. That's why uh, many industries are non, not opting for the blockchain, but in future it may be uh, fall down and it will be affordable as many people come into this uh, field. Uh, so the existing methodologies uh, to detect the fake product uh, was first is authentication marks like holograms and serial numbers uh, printed on the uh, on the products. Uh, next. Uh, the physical inspections, like we uh, physically inspect the product to see if the product is tampered or it is uh, like the original product or not. Next, the product registration, like we pro register the product in the third party service or the central database and verify the product uh, with the identifier or something like that. But the problem here is we have to trust the central authority. Uh, next, uh, so uh, what uh, problem or the effect of the fake or the counter counterfeit product is first health and the safety risk. For example, if a medicine company creates his product and if someone uh, supply the fake product in the market with the same uh, same name or the same uh, brand, so uh, it will harm the health of the people because it may contain some different contents or proposition of the medicine next economic losses as the uh, fake products sold in the market original manufacturer will face the uh, losses due to this next reputation damage as we have discussed if something uh, bad happened to the uh, people or the consumer of the product then the original manufacturer will lose his reputation due to this uh, thing next job losses as uh, original uh, as original manufacturer will lose the uh, huge uh, lost the economic money so that uh, different people has to cut off next slide need of the project uh, counterfeit uh, counterfeit products increase in need of blockchain based fake detection system uh, in the market there is uh, uh, increase in the uh, fake product blockchain ensure secure and transparent supply chain by recording every product in the transaction in the decentralized ledger. We can use the blockchain to verify the product. Benefit include increased transparency, trust, and security as we have discussed. Next slide. Uh, so uh, steps performed in the system is first product identification. So first we uh, identify the product as from the manufacturer as it is legit product next we we uh, record the information on the blockchain so that uh, 
other entities will verify the product next uh, verification uh, the verification step includes scanning the qr code or the barcode on the product so that uh, it will be verified next product tracking the tracking ensure ensures that the product is from the trusted source and uh, when the man it is manufactured and when uh, end customer get that got that product next fraud detection if the product is not identified by the blockchain then it is considered as a fake or a fraud next next slide so in the methodology first we gather the requirement uh, like what kind of product we uh, have in the system so that we can customize the system accordingly uh, next uh, blockchain technology selection we can select the uh, blockchain platform which supports the smart contract like ethereum next smart contract development we can develop a smart contract to register all the details of the product next integration with the product tracking system we have to integrate the back end or the blockchain platform to the some kind of front end uh, application so that end consumer can access to it next testing and validation we finally we can test and validate the system next Uh, so technologies we can we can use for this is first is back blockchain platform which includes the ethereum platform next smart contract to write the smart contract code uh, to register and verify the verify the product next apis and integration tools uh, these tools can use to integrate the back end uh, blockchain with the front end front end application next web web mobile application is to is for the end consumer to verify the product next step next step uh, this is the architecture of our project first uh, manufacturer will who is the owner of this uh, system will register himself and uh, then login login to the system after login he can add the product to the system so that everyone else can verify the product next uh, show the order so that uh, how many he can see how many products are sold in the system and how many products are actually uh, verified by the end consumer and uh, ne next he can generate a qr code and print take a print out of that qr code and uh, he can stick to the physical product also next uh, end user will do the registration first then login to the system then he will order the product and uh, scan the scan the qr code to verify whether the product is uh, from the legitimate manufacturer or not and it will show the result next slide uh, uh so uh, the future scope for this project is integration of with the iot devices for more detailed information so uh, right now we are just scanning uh, with the camera or the qr code but in future we can use some sensors like nfc tag to very uh, real time verification of the pro products next use the machine learning algorithm to identify the patterns and anomalies we can use the ml with the blockchain to, to enhance uh, the uh, accuracy of the product based on its feature uh, development of blockchain inter interoperability standard for efficiency and scalability here what we can do is uh, we can uh, develop a platform where uh, he, multiple uh, different systems can commu in communicate interoperatively to uh, share the information next decentralized product verification mechanism that's we are doing uh, right now uh, next use of supply chain analytics for identify inefficiency and vulnerability uh, this will give the insights to the manufacturer like uh, what what is happening in the uh, supply chain and how many how from which location the products are identified as a fake the most thank you uh, this this is from our side if you can ask some question if you are